Good morning, guys. It's Monday and it's a brand new week. This is going to be a really busy week. And I know this because I've already had a very busy weekend. I basically worked all weekend because we had to submit our Chinese Food Fight Club podcast to Apple this weekend in order for it to be live before the launch party that's happening in LA. I won't be there, unfortunately, because I'm in England. I also got some exciting news this weekend from my sister who has decided to come over for a few days. This morning, I wrote an item for SSAW. I think that is the last of this group of small stories I'm doing for the next issue, which is really exciting. I think they're closing the issue now. I'm so excited to see how it comes out. I also paid my 2020 expat taxes this morning, so hopefully that closes this chapter of my American expat taxes. Although I think it's probably only four or five months until I need to figure out my 2021 taxes. But by then I'll be back in the US and I think everything will be a lot easier. I also have a few emails to send today about potential work projects in New York when I go back. Tonight, Andy and I are recording another episode of our second podcast with a really famous chef in LA. So today is a packed day. This weekend is going to be a packed week, but first, I'm off to DHL to mail my tax return. Let's get going. This is what my desk looks like after three back-to-back -back calls with New York and LA. What's up guys? Okay, so we recorded the last episode of season one of Chinese Food Fight Club. We are already in Apple Podcasts. We just put the trailer up for now just to get indexed in Apple Podcasts and we're also on Spotify, which is so exciting because it's finally happening. Today I had a call with New York our last episode of Chinese Food Fight Club. And then I had a call with my friend Sam, who I haven't talked to in months. He's also in LA. I just feel like all of these things are just really solidifying my decision to move back to the States. Every opportunity that I'm getting that's exciting, that feels new, and it feels like a great project, everything for me seems to be from that direction. So I'm just glad that these are all, everything seems to be coming together pretty well. I have been talking nonstop for the past like five hours. So I think I'm going to eat something for dinner and then scroll TikTok until I fall asleep, which is what I've been doing the past few nights. And actually I think it's okay. I go into a very deep sleep. I get great deep sleep. I'm wearing my aura ring again which is great. I'm wearing the gold one this time. I used to wear the silver one, but I like the gold one a little bit better. I think it goes with my clothes a little bit better. I'm not like, not like I'm some like fashion person I'm wearing like a t-shirt from one of my favorite Chinese restaurants in London. Okay, you guys, enough rambling. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys, I don't know how it, it's already 4.30, but I have to record a new intro with Andy and then we're recording an episode of our podcast for the LA mayor's office, which is great. I realized that my table today is just covered in stuff. This morning I had to edit a video. I've been planning reservations and like making bookings for, for restaurants and stuff for my sister's trip here. She's arriving tomorrow. My apartment is being shown again this weekend, so I have to prepare for that. There's just like a lot going on right now. So I'm gonna do all these recordings and I'll check in with you guys either tonight or tomorrow morning first thing. I mean, it's just like kind of getting out of hand and I sit here all day long and just have a lot of stuff going on.
This is my post-workout meal today. I'm gonna have a salad, some shrimp that's pre-cooked, and I'm obsessed with these Odie flapjack slices. They're gluten-free, which is exciting. The texture is so good, and the newspaper. Hey guys, okay, so it's pretty late, but it's been a crazy day in like the best possible way. My sister arrived, I picked her up, we went to go get something to eat, and then she had to work because she's working on New York time. So she came over to work, and while she was working, I pushed our first season of the Chinese Food Fight Club podcast live on podcast platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor FM and YouTube. I'm so excited to show you guys. Check it out. Here is the Chinese Food Fight Club podcast landing page on YouTube. I am so excited about this. I really wanted to get this graphic of, you know, like the classic red wrapper where it shows you how to use chopsticks on the back. And I couldn't find it anywhere online in royalty-free images, but then I looked in my drawer and I had some takeout chopsticks. So I took a photo and I put it in our banner and we've uploaded videos of all of our episodes here. It is also live on Apple Podcasts. The first season of Chinese Food Fight Club, the podcast, is about our food friends in LA, at least, at least a handful of them. So, if you have time and if you're interested in Chinese food and Chinese American culture and being an immigrant and being a third culture kid, then check out Chinese Food Fight Club, please, and subscribe and like and share. It's a work in progress for sure. We've learned so much from doing the first season, both like technically, but also in terms of self introspection and stuff like that. And Andy and I are already talking about doing season two and what that could entail. Good morning. Hello, my sister and I are here in London and because we're here for two nights, I booked us two rooms, but I used my BA AVOs points. And I use them because honestly, AVOs are really hard to use on reward flights. So I tend to use them on hotels, even though I know like monetarily, it may not be the best, best exchange. Anyway, I booked us two nights over the weekend at the Strand Palace Hotel, which is really close to everything. It's in the center of the city, right next to Covent Garden in Theaterland. And I booked us the smallest rooms, but I'm kind of into it. This is the Superior Cozy Single, and I'm gonna show you around. It's sort of like the size of a hotel room, like a basic hotel room in Tokyo. And so far, I, I see nothing wrong with it. I'm pretty pleased. So you just come in the door and ta-da, here's the room. Directly to the right of the door is a single bed. Behind the bed, there is a mirror, which I think really helps make the room, hello, look bigger. I am on the second floor with this room and I look over, let's see, Exeter Street. But what I did do is I asked for a quiet room because I read online that some of the rooms on higher floors can get noisy. This room has been refurbished, so the fixtures and stuff like that, like the shelves and the console, those are all new. The furniture is pretty new. Over here is a closet with a full-length mirror. Hello. My sister just came in and she's waiting for me to finish my room tour. She did point out, and I didn't notice that until just now, that the bathroom does not have a door in it, but I think it's because if you try to open the door, it would run into the coffee table. But the bathroom is actually a pretty good size. It has this cool tile, toilet, shelving, 
and kind of a giant shower, which I suspect used to hold a short tub, but short tubs are hard to come by now. And a really well-lighted mirror. I did read online about how these mirrors are very, very well-lighted. So the lighting in here is fantastic. So that's my room tour. We're at Spittlefields and we just did a photo booth. But I didn't know. <laughs> they were taking photos and check them out. Excellent. Excellent photos. Excellent photos. Great. All right, that's it guys. That's the vlog for this week. I am checking out from London. Thank you so much for watching. Tonight was such a fun night. I have not been in crowds like that in years. And the vibe was so good in London tonight. Everyone was so happy to be out. The weather was perfect. It was like, it was just so great. And it was so nice to see Chinatown London thriving again. It's been such an impossible year for restaurants that it's so amazing to see these long queues out the door for dinner at like 6 p.m. It's so good to see. Anyway, I will see you guys next week and I hope you have a great weekend. See you soon.